So I've made a lot of videos on this channel, right? And the question I get asked quite often is how do I color grade these videos to get them to look like this when they originally started looking like this? It comes down to primarily your lighting. Therefore, invest in some lighting at least a little bit and prioritize that over just color grading and hoping you get the best look out of it. And since this isn't a hard look to achieve, I'm able to replicate it quite often because I keep the lights in the same setup, I keep the same look, and I try to keep the environment the same. That way I don't have to change my color grading style. I can just do the same steps every time. And that's what we're gonna do right now in Premiere. I have two different pieces of footage. One is shot in log from a couple of videos back. And then the last video I actually shot in Rec. 709. And I shot it that way to kind of make this video so I could explain the difference, but also to see if it was worth shooting in log which, you know what? I don't know if it always is. That being said, we're gonna talk about how I edit my log footage because most of the videos are shot in log. Let's say we like this footage, right? We'll just press I and O and drag in just the video clip so it's not too long. This is shot in log. I always shoot in log for the most part, except like I said, the last video. And I need to convert this to Rec. 709, which is the standard color space you're like watching right now. Um, in order to do that, you can see under basic correction, we have input what? Go ahead and press browse and then find that input LUT somewhere. Now, in my case, I have a conversion LUT folder here and I'll go to Canon LUT here, 3D, 65 grid, full range, and I'll find Cinema Gamut C Log 3 to BT709, which is Rec. 709. Now you'll see that it converts the colors to something a bit more what you would expect to see out of the camera. So right now let's fix my exposure, bring that up a little bit, bring my highlights, up a little bit too. Maybe I'll bring my shadows down. Or let's bring the highlights down a little bit. Shadows can stay around zero. White point will bring up. Blacks will bring down. Now I kind of like a low contrast look. I always seem to go that way. Um, so we're gonna keep that. And then I'm gonna use this reference of the white on my hat right here as my white balance. So click the white there. And now the white balance is set. Technically, this is a correct looking white balance. This is a terrible frame to pause on. But let's say we're not happy with this look, which I'm not happy with this look. I would never post that. I'll go ahead, right click, add an adjustment layer over here and I'll add some effects there. Um, sometimes I tend to change some color on the base footage and in this case that's what I'm gonna do. I'll go to color wheels and match and I'll kind of start shifting some things. Now I have these lights on. It's kind of hard to see the screen with all the lights in my face. Um, it's best to do this in a dark room but for the sake of the video. So that's a little better. You can see if you turn it on and off what we had before it's a bit more blue. Now it's a bit more green. I tend to not mess with my shadows too much and if I do add any shadow color I go a little bit towards magenta and blue to bring back some of that life. Then I also take my highlights and I go towards the yellows as well. And you'll see like this is before, this is after. We're making small adjustments to get to somewhere, you know, we're getting there. Under curves, I generally add an S curve. I'll take my black point and I'll bring it up a little bit just to kind of crush the black. So see if I turn this off, kind of where we're at. And then my white point, I'll do the same in. That's pretty much uh, okay. And then under creative, I usually bump the faded film up to like 10-ish. You can also play with your shadow tint. You know, you can put your tints here. Sometimes I do play with the tints, sometimes I don't. This is what we started with. Then we added color, added a little bit more contrast and changed some of the blacks and white points right here. And then under creative, I added that. Now, the original was this. This is like color corrected with a little bit of a grade. Technically, I should be doing this on the adjustment layer. But I did it here and that's what I do sometimes. So again, use your own discretion. Now we're gonna add a bit more effects and then we're gonna add my visual effects to kind of seal the look and kind of like complete what I would call my look, if you would. Now under color doesn't match again, sometimes I move the midtones back towards the, you know, cooler colors a little bit just to kind of balance out what I did previously. Um, because generally I have multiple clips and I'll, I'll try to have some type of overarching theme. Underneath shadows, again, I play with it until I find a look I like, which is the Reason some of the videos look a little different, but also this is what I try to do. I'm actually gonna go back to my original footage, go to my HSL secondary, turn that on, find my skin tone, right? Isolate that, do some qualifying, which again, I'm not gonna teach you that in this video. If you guys wanna know about that, I can make an updated video on skin tones because my old video is really bad. And now I can modify that, you know, that range of skin tone colors, which is going to affect my background here, but whatever to get it a little bit less red. And opposite of red and magenta is greenish blue. So we're just gonna take this point here on the master and drag it a tiny bit until we start to see, you know, a slight change. I kind of play with the idea until I find what I like. So before, after, let's just turn the saturation off. I don't like that, it was saturated. And now we go back to adjustment layer. We finish the look by going to effects. Now I add chromatic aberration, zoom blurs, and grain to my footage. I am partnered with Motion Array, so I have some of those assets. However, I have some videos on how to create all these looks, not 
via motion raise assets. Um, if you guys are interested, film grain, I drag that on there. Add chromatic aberration, zoom blur, and then I go to my effect controls and I modify the effects this way. Uh, film grain, I go to subtle 35 and I hit monochrome. I don't like the color grain. Um, chromatic aberration, I go retro lens and then I modify using the lens itself and I make the lens radius about 650. Under zoom blur, I go to subtle and uh, let's go to two. Don't want to overdo it, right? And then if you turn off this layer, this is what we had before. Now there's a little bit of a, you know, style, if you would, if you can call it style. And some of you might be like, well, I don't have a camera that shoots log, so what do I do? Well, that's why I brought this clip in. So I have this shot from the last video, right? Which is shot in Rec 709. If I want to color some of it, I can a little bit. You don't want to tear the color, so be careful, but you can modify some of it. Like my midtones, I'm going to push towards the, you know, the yellow orangish region. Shadows, I'm going to do the same because this is actually a bit more blue in the footage itself. And then highlights, you know, I, I kind of mess around with till I find where I like, and that looks okay. Curves, there's a little less contrast than I think we should have. So do that for this is after creative. Let's fade the film a little bit because we want that consistency. And then, you know, because we have that adjustment layer, I just click and drag it and extend it. And now the adjustment layer will be on top of the footage. You can see that if I turn it off, this is before, that's after, before, after. Focus on your lighting first, figure out what style you want to go for and try to figure out what that style entails and then just play with the settings and, and experiment. That's all I did when I started. That's all I do now. And that's why my videos change all the time because I, I'm experimenting every time and I'm just having fun. Have fun. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped. I will see you soon. Talk to you later.